Hey YouTube, it's Dave from DroneReviewsAndNews.com and a quick video today, well maybe not too quick, uh, but with yesterday's firmware update for the DJI Mavic Mini, there's a whole bunch of things we wanted to go over with you to A, do the firmware update correctly, uh, B, understand how to use manual exposure control for your video, and C, which ND filter set is perfect for the Mavic Mini to help you get the most cinematic video possible. So stick around, there's a lot of information in this video just for Mavic Mini owners. Okay guys, so yesterday, if you saw our Instagram uh, update on the Mavic Mini firmware, that does a couple of things. Improved motor controls, uh, but the, the features for people in, the, in Ukraine, but the most important thing for us was the Mavic Mini finally has manual exposure control for video recording. Now this is huge. Up until now, we've only been able to use uh, a feature called Exposure Lock to basically do a poor man's version of manual exposure. And that's prevented us from really having truly cinematic video for the Mavic Mini. So before I go any further, I wanna talk a little bit about why, what is cinematic video and why it's important, why you want to do it. So uh, cinematic video is all about the camera settings that most closely match the natural motion blur that the human eye captures. And Hollywood filmmakers figured this out a long time ago, and it's why most Hollywood movies are filmed at 24 or 25 frames per second. So that's, that's the starting point for shooting cinematic video. And it's three sides of a triangle that we have to complete to make sure we get that equation proper. So we want to be shooting at the camera's highest quality setting, which for most cameras is ISO 100. That's the first side of the triangle. Next, we want to shoot at that cinematic frame rate of 24 or 25 frames per second. That's the other side. And it all rests on the bottom of the pyramid, which is the shutter speed. And the golden rule for that is your shutter speed should be two times your frame rate. So if you're shooting at 24 or 25 frames per second, your shutter speed should be two times that, or 1 50th of a second. Now that's pretty simple. The challenge is, when you put those manual settings into the camera, that might not match the environment that you have as far as what your light is where you're filming. So if you're on a really super bright day, you're at the beach or you're outside, or it's just full sun, chances are those camera settings are going to be way overexposed uh, or they're going to way overexpose the video that you're capturing and it's going to look completely blown out and terrible. So that's why we use ND filters. And here we are. I have the Freewell All Day 8-pack for the Mavic uh, Mini here. And essentially what they do is ND filters act like a pair of sunglasses that evenly throttle the amount of light coming into the camera so that you can actually choose, you can make it perfectly exposed with those fixed camera settings of frame rate, exposure, and ISO. Now it sounds simple. Uh, once you get using ND filters, you're gonna see that it takes a little bit of practice. You know, depending on whether it's an overcast day, it might be an ND4 or an ND8. If you're filming on a ski hill in the wintertime in bright sunshine over snow, you might be ND32 or ND64. T uh, time and practice will make you, uh, it'll just be super simple for you once you get used to it. Okay, so a few warnings before you go ahead and do the firmware update for the Mavic Mini. First of all, there's uh, more than a couple of parts to it. Uh, for many Mavic Mini owners, they've never updated the DJI Fly app or they've never done a firmware update before. So the first rule going into it is, you want to make sure that your uh, smartphone is fully charged. You want to make sure that the drone batteries are fully charged. And you want to make sure that the remote controller is fully charged. This firmware update also includes an update that's mandatory uh, if you want to get all of these features uh, for the DJI Fly app. So first, okay, so the first thing you want to do is head over to the App Store or the Google Play Store and make sure you've got the most up-to-date version of DJI Fly, and that's 1.0.8. Uh, it came out about four weeks ago, uh, but I think the current firmware for the drone only unlocked the manual video, video exposure control yesterday. If you don't do this uh, DJI Fly app update, 
you won't have manual exposure control in the Mini. Now this uh, DJI Fly Update also is supposed to uh, uh, improve warning prompts when you're flying in high winds and fi fixes crashing issues and improves the app's stability. Okay, so once you've got the DJI Fly app, all your batteries are charged, etc. Uh, we're going to jump into the phone, the controller, and the drone, and we'll walk you through how to install the update. Okay, so once you've got the iPhone open, click on the DJI Fly icon. And once it opens, you're going to see that a new firmware update is available. It's 39 megabytes, so click on that download button, and it might take longer than you think. You know, probably 10, 15 minutes, maybe even longer, depending on your internet connection speed. Once you get to about the 40% mark in that firmware download, it's going to ask you to connect to the aircraft. So go ahead and do that. Once the aircraft is detected, uh, the remote and the app are going to notice that. So go ahead and click that install button. And the app is going to take care of finishing the rest of that firmware download and installing it on the Mavic Mini for you. At the same time, it's also updating the firmware on the battery that's installed in the aircraft as well. So remember this, if you have other batteries, you'll have to update the firmware in them as well after you do this. And that process is basically just turning off the drone, taking the battery out, putting the next battery in, and repeating the process. It's going to detect that new battery doesn't have the current firmware. It's important that you do that because it could, could cause uh, glitches or crashes or lack of performance going forward. It could even prevent you from flying altogether. Okay, so here we go. We're now going to click that install button because the firmware is downloaded and it's ready to be imported into the drone. And the controller reconnects with the aircraft and we're just waiting for the screen to come to life here. And just watch in the top left corner, you'll see that, uh, here we go, there it is, the, there it is. The download picks up from the 40% mark and continues on. And this is going to go on for some time because it's upgrading, updating the firmware in both the drone and the battery. So we fast forwarded from the 40% mark to the 69% mark. And over the course of the update, the uh, drone is going to restart itself at least once or twice uh, as part of the process. So don't be alarmed by that. Uh, you can see that we're at the 69% threshold. And here it is, it's rebooting, it's reconnecting to the aircraft through the remote control and the DJI Fly app. And eventually you're going to get to the point where you see the message that the firmware update was successful. So click on that X in the top right of the message. Okay, now that was pretty simple. It took longer than we expected. I think all in all it was about 20 minutes to get the firmware update done. Okay, now we'll jump into the actual firmware update itself and I'll walk you through how to use the manual camera settings for exposure in the Mavic Mini. Okay, so we're going to jump back into the DJI Fly app. Just above the red record button on the right side of the screen, we can click on the 2.7K icon. We're already in video mode, as you see, and you can see that it's video 2.7K and 25 frames per second. Now we're just going to tap the screen and make that menu go away. There we go. And you'll see on the bottom right, click that auto button and you'll see it switches to an M. And there we go. We now have control over shutter and ISO. So I'm going to tap that shutter and we're at 1 100th and we want to switch that down to 1 50th of a second, which is two times our frame rate. Then we're going to jump over to ISO and we want to make sure we're at 100 ISO. Then when we go outside, we'll use the appropriate ND filter to make sure that we're properly exposed for those conditions. I'm going to tap on that video icon again, the 2.7K. There we go. And we'll switch it to 1080p. And there we go. Also at 25 frames per second. We're going to switch it to 30 frames per second. We're going to keep that ISO at 100. But jumping into shutter, using the two times rule, we want to switch that to 1 60th of a second. Again, two times our frame rate. Now, perfect. That's actually super simple. Uh, and it, it takes some time uh, and practice, you know, over time getting uh, used to using ND filters and getting the proper settings aligned with that. Just remember 100 ISO, 24 or 25 frames per second frame rate, and twice that for the shutter speed. Now, here's a really cool tip. If you actually want to shoot cinematic slow motion, what you do is you keep an eye on that at uh, 100 ISO, 
But if you're shooting at 25 frames per second and you want to shoot a four times slow motion, then instead of going to a 50 uh, shutter speed, you go to 200. Then in post-processing, you can reduce that by a factor of four times and you'll have four times slow motion. You can do it for eight times or two times. Uh, play with it uh, in future videos and just see how it works out for you. Okay, now the last tip that we have, it's all the way back to the ND filters we showed you at the start of the video. Ever since we started this channel and our website four years ago and we've been reporting on drones, uh, I think one of the first ones we got was the, uh, the Spark. And at the time, we were looking for an ND filter set uh, that would get us through all conditions. You know, we looked at all the brands that were out there and we ended up finding Freewell's All Day 8 Pack. Now this is it for the Osmo Pocket. We have it for the Mavic Air. Also, we have it for the Osmo Action. And we have it for the Mavic 2 Pro. I think I said we have it for the Osmo Pocket. We've got it for the Mavic Mini. In fact, from yesterday's Instagram, we put our Freewell stickers on the Mavic Mini yesterday to celebrate the fact that we can now do cinematic video with ND filters. Now, here's why we like the Freewell All Day 8 Pack so much. It's one set that will get you through almost every condition imaginable. You don't have multiple kits and, and packages to deal with. In the All Day 8 Pack, you've got ND4, ND8, and ND16, a circular polarizer, but you also have ND8 polarized, ND16 polarized, ND32 polarized, and ND64 polarized. Chances are you will never need another ND filter in your life for that drone if you have Freewell's All Day 8 pack. Now, the, the challenge is if you, I've got links below at Amazon, BH Photo, and Adorama, pretty much the three best places to buy ND filters or, or camera accessories. Um, but unfortunately, all three of those businesses are currently out of stock or it's pre-order only for the ND filters. So now that we have manual camera settings, there is going to be a rush of Mavic Mini owners heading to the internet to buy ND filters. So I would encourage you to hit those links right away, order from whichever one you are most comfortable ordering from, and just get in that line now so it's not delayed any longer than it already is. Lastly, guys, that's about all we've got for the Mavic Mini firmware update. I hope you really enjoy the manual video exposure control in the drone. I know we're going to get a lot more use out of the Mavic Mini because of it. Uh, stay tuned for future videos. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. Our next video is probably going to be an ND filter real life out in the field filming video uh, for the Mavic Mini. Lots more content coming. If you found our content useful, give us a thumbs up. It lets other viewers know that there's good content here that's going to help them out. And lastly, drop us a line in the comments. Give us some feedback, good or bad. We want to make our videos better, improve the content on our channel, and we'd love to know what you'd like to see in future upcoming videos. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on Monday when DJI is releasing the new Mavic Air 2.